Good afternoon, everyone. Let's see. I know I, I was trying to think of what I was going to talk about today. Uh, I'm here at my mom's. Let's see. It's August 24th. And I'm a little winded. It's uh, I've been at Lowe's. I did a video about that. I've been shopping. I've already done my cleaning. So... I'm ready to do some gardening so let's see I bought some lettuce and some dirt and some mulch and so I wanted to just see how things are doing and it's kind of cooled off here in North Carolina for the last couple of days and so a typical day for me is um, when I get at my mom's because I don't come here but ever two or three days so you know, I know I keep saying the tomato plants are starting to look bad. So I always uh, pick my tomatoes and peppers before I water. And so I had watered real heavily uh, the last time, let's say I was here, I think Tuesday. And I planted these two little tomato plants that had come up over there in my other section. And that's why it's looking like that. I was afraid they wouldn't make it, but it looks like they're hanging in there. So I'm hoping you'll find this interested. I, I know I did one video about uh, when I was talking and picking peppers. So, uh, you know, I, I've got my basket with my twine and my scissors in case I need to tie something up. Uh, I have been planting a few tomatoes. Uh, that has come up in the compost. Now, I'm not buying tomatoes, um, you know, I'm not growing seedlings, but I had that one tomato plant that we'll go look at that uh, had come up by itself when I had put the tomato in the compost. And then I had these other two seedlings that come up as well. So, I, you know, I, I don't have anything really to lose. I mean, it's a little bit of time maybe a little bit of space so I thought you know we have a longer growing season in the south our fall states uh, October 27th so we might get some green tomatoes off of it now I don't use any pesticides and a lot of uh, pests and tomato worms are you know eating my tomatoes so when I have a tomato that you know it's not any bad I just throw it down on the ground so um, I might bury it and I might not and so, uh, these, you know, whatever little critters chewing on those. And I just let them go down to the compost. So, I, that's what I do. So, I had these three come up by themselves. And that's probably why I had three plants come up by themselves. Now, these two I've planted. So, I always check out everything before I water and walk the, you know, I call it the farm. It's not really a farm, but... It's about an acre of land. So anyway, my potatoes are doing really good. That I planted in uh, early August. And then these are the potatoes that I had planted in the spring. And I don't know if I'll get a second crop off of them. But you know, I left them in there to see. So anyway, um, I did a garden tour, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. But I had some tomato plants here. I pulled them up the other week, or last, last week. Uh, some of my flowers are starting to look bad you know it's just getting that type of sea, uh, of the year time of the year so anyway um, some of these the aramis they have thrown off seeds into the beds and they have such beautiful colors and i know i show them all the time and i don't know if people like them i love them and the bees love them now i had this tommy toe plant come up by itself as well and I would have normally would not have planted it here because it's kind of difficult to get to. So I, I have a little trouble getting to it because I have these blocks here. And it's kind of a little difficult. But I uh, have to get back here and pick my tomatoes but th these tomatoes are pretty good I mean it's just when you compost in place or compost you have things that pop up 
and I've had that happen especially this year now the first year I did it I, I started I think last year in the spring and I didn't notice that big of a change until this spring it's been you know the next year and I really noticed the change now I'm trying to put my foot up and let's see we'll stretch and sometimes I pick a few tomato plant tomatoes that are not right because like I keep saying I only come to my mom every two or three days now when I have I pick a tomato and it's got the little top this let it throw to go to the ground go to the earth and I share these with my mom and my uncle and my family and friends so I have fed a lot of people this year I, I've had a lot of food I've been really blessed I think I've had more food than I ever have I mean it's just I've uh, kind of been a good year so I'm going to try to plant something here I'm not sure yet but I'm kind of letting the ground rest a little bit I gotta finish pulling up these other tomato plants that have died and so I just letting that rest a little bit so come over here and get some peppers and these pepper plants I got they just really went crazy I got let's see three jalapenos and three pepper plants so and these these could get bigger but I always pick them a little early but uh, as I know I've said before I cannot keep my uncle furnished and hot peppers but when we go around to the front you will see that I am getting pepper 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 that's, that's a nice one and, and I need a good bit of them uh, our family enjoys peppers and I always with peppers uh, I leave some on there if you're picking them regularly uh, I leave some for the next few days uh, I mean, you can pick them smaller if you're, you know, want to eat them, and you can leave them and let them get bigger. That's kind of your option. So I'm gonna leave a couple because I'll be back here Sunday. Then I'll have more peppers. So there's a nice one, and I always said I grow pepper trees. So this this one is going up the trellis here. So I'm going to get out here so you can see, you know, pepper plants start small. And these are, they've grown pretty big because it's getting kind of later in the season. So they're starting to get big. It's kind of cooling off. So they'll start really growing. I always have pepper trees. That's what I say, pepper trees. So you kind of look through here and... I kind of just like to feel around. I've been uh, taking and I've tried now these. You could pick these these off if you like, but I've been trying to let those grow because we have plenty of peppers right now. So it's kind of what you need to do. And when you leaves, if you have time, these leaves are bad. Just throw them to the ground. It's food for your plants. Cause I'm, that way you don't have to buy fertilizer in that nice hot banana pepper. Now, a lot of my banana peppers have not been hot. And I don't know if I got the wrong kind. Uh, every once in a while, I want to be hot. But most of them are not. So, it's kind of like a sneak surprise. You'll eat one, and then eat another. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I've got something here. Let's see what we got. Oh. Sorry. Dropped the phone. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if you can see my peppers. I can't see because of the sun. I don't know if you can see. I can't. I apologize. My peppers are like turning yellow. It looks like something's like in them. 
I've never seen nothing like that. Now these are supposed to be my sweetie peppers that I keep talking about. That's what most of them are supposed to look like. And I've been waiting for them to turn. Oh, I think one's turning. I'm excited. I'm excited. One's turning. It's turning. Look. It's getting the yellow. They're starting to turn. Awesome. I've been waiting. I have grown these peppers by seed. And I've been waiting for them to turn. I can't wait. I, I tasted one just uh, green. And it tasted like a bell pepper. So, now this one. Uh, well, there's one of them. I thought this is a, a jalapeno plant. I thought it was a sweetie pepper plant. And somehow it got mixed up. And it's not. So. I've got catnip that needs to be cut again. I mean, I just can't keep up. I, I have done too much this year. Uh, I have cut. That's them little critters. I don't know what they are. I can see them. See them right there? They're on my tomatoes. I don't, I've never seen these little bugs. There they are. Little bugs. They're, there's another one. I don't know what they are. Let's go get one. Now that's like a squash bug. All these little bugs. Because that's like a little squash bug. But these things, I don't know what kind of beetle it is. But they're eating my tomatoes. Uh, well, they're not. It's like they're not eating them. They're like on them. So, uh, see I have tomatoes that are on the ground. I let them fall. And then I'll probably get another one next year. So look, I have sage that I could pick again. Then again, just pop the tops off. I done that, I think last week. I got more sage. So it's getting to the time of the year that the bugs are really bad. Cause if you don't use pesticides, that's what happens. Now, I got my little pitiful trellis here. So I'm picking some of them early and they still turn out good. I've been trying to, I had made this little trellis, trying to keep my tomatoes up off the ground. Because this one come up by itself, and that's because I let them fall to the ground. Especially the Tommy Toes. The Tommy Toes uh, seem to do that really good. Um, I don't think I've ever had just a, a tomato plant come back over winter. Now, I'll... Um, not over winter. Tommy Toes will. Now, this is the tomato plant that I just stuck the tomato in the ground and it come up by itself. Now, we're going to see. I put a, a cage around it and I'm going to see. I'm going to snip that off because that don't look good. See, so just stick it back in the ground. Uh, see what happens. Look at my beautiful marigold. See, I, I did the video on deadheading. See, now that it still needs some more um, cut off, but look at the blooms that has come out. Look at my blooms. And that's what you do. I mean, it, it prolongs the life of the flower. Now, I've got some parsley here that I could cut. These peas come up by themselves from last year. This is uh, some rosemary that I propagated. I had propagated some rosemary last year and it did okay, but then it didn't make it over winter. So this right here, I've got to pull up. Um, all this, I just haven't had time to do it and I don't know that I'm gonna get to it today. So um, more peppers, 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 lordies. So I've got, Plenty of salad tomatoes, Tommy Toe tomatoes. I mean, my big tomatoes are almost gone. I mean, they're they're pretty much gone. And I did plant at different intervals. I'm kind of disappointed that uh, they're already gone. Uh, like I said, I've been uh, gardening for 30 years and used to. I could always get tomatoes to frost in October. And now uh, it's like 
when you garden it's like you can it, it feels like it's already fall's coming so even though it's just end of august uh it's hard to explain i mean if you believe in uh reading the signs and uh, the, the old wise tales and the almanac and that sort of thing and you kind of know what I'm talking about so these uh, Thai peppers have really got huge and these kind of just have bunches I had thought it says my phone is getting warm so I guess I'm going to have to cut my video short so let me get through here I just want to show you real quick this is where I pulled up my tomatoes. I mean, I mean my pumpkin, and it's sitting. And then all my pota my potatoes have kind of died. I've got pepper plants. These have come up on their own from last year. There's my little black kitty laying in the the cool. It's not mine, but anyway, I've got more pepper plants. And more peppers that I can pick and I'm having to cut my video short I do apologize so don't forget to like and share and subscribe and subscribe thank you